Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and as big fans of the Lego Movie 2 Apocalypse Bird characters, we thought it would be a great idea to design apocalyptic versions of Aquaman, Batgirl, Superman, Joker, Wonder Woman and Robin to give Batman a few more friends in the wasteland. So if you want to know how to make these guys from regular Lego parts and pieces, you should check out our tutorial at the end which has a useful breakdown on everything you'll need for each minifigure. But before we get to that, let's take a closer look at the characters. Now as you can see we put quite a lot of effort into the wasteland designs, transforming the minifigures into rough, battle-hardened Duplo War veterans. And if we start with Superman we chose to upgrade the old classic version by adding a Ninjago J-Leg along with a March Harriet bare arm to show a patched up rip suit. Other additions include a hammer weapon, the shrunk down Thor Ragnarok red cape, a gunmetal Ninjago shoulder piece to bulk out the hero's apocalyptic metal armour, and for Superman's new hair we couldn't resist going for the Lego Ninjago movie tied up coal hair to give the hero a funny unrecognisable overgrown look, which nicely fits the new apocalyptic style. Next up, one of our favourite creations is the apocalyptic Wonder Woman because she looks nothing like the original Lex Luthor mech set minifigure. And we enjoyed marrying up a Clan of the Cave Batman leg to her dress at the bottom to show a decent half damage design with cool leopard print. We also added one of the cave bat arms on the right, placed a brown glove on the other side, and the superhero now wears this evil skulking Ninjago armour for a raider style outfit. In Wonder Woman's hand, a pickaxe has replaced the sword in this new apocalypse age, and for the cherry on top, a black mohawk hairpiece seemed like a pretty sweet radical new hairstyle for the minifigure. So our Wonder Woman's slightly evil hardcore look is definitely one of the best in the group. Following on from Wonder Woman, it's Batgirl, who like the other female hero has a cool new mismatched wasteland suit, which we put together by adding a leg and arm from the Apache Chief for a new damaged effect. We also swapped the yellow belt for Catman's brown one to show a dirty colour change, and due to the bad air she now wears a crossbones gas mask. Then to improve the armour we decided to clip the glam metal bat silver shoulder pad piece above the cape. And for a silly weapon choice, the Bat Turin shield is a nice crazy weapon option to complete the minifigure. Our apocalyptic Robin was fairly simple to create too, and we began by clipping a Sky Pirate belt and leg to the original legs to construct battle damage trousers. The minifigure carries a red crowbar weapon as well, wears a black mask, and we thought the Thor metal arm would look great on one side to continue the patched up suit design. So our apocalyptic Robin is easy to make, but still looks the business. Moving on to the only villain in the group, the Joker's not been spared the apocalyptic treatment either, and we started by clipping the minifigure's right leg onto a leg and belt piece from the Lego movie Willy Fusebot for an interesting leather armour upgrade. Above the legs, we swapped his purple arms for a white Zane arm and the stripy mime villain arm to give the coat a colourful patched up design. And due to weapon shortages, he carries a flintlock pistol instead of a Tommy gun. But one of the really neat things about this Joker is we managed to transform its standard coat into a full-on wasteland bomber jacket by simply placing a tan fur collar piece from an egg nest in the Newt suitcase set around the minifigure's neck. So our apocalyptic Joker has an excellent wasteland outfit thanks to this new bomber jacket look. Then last but not least for our Lego Movie 2 Aquaman we thought we'd combine a Battle of Atlantis minifigure with a mutant leader bare chest torso because a tattoo bare chest body doesn't exist sadly but that scars are good substitute details in our eyes. We also like the wrist printing on the arms and if you want an easy to build Aquaman substitute for the Lego Movie 2 this one's great to try out. So that's our apocalyptic DC minifigure creations which are very silly and if we're being honest we didn't really know if they'd work out at first. But as you've just seen their uni wasteland style designs are worthy of any apocalypse berg scene and our favourites have to be Superman and Wonder Woman as they seem the most radical. We also hope lots of you will take inspiration from these minifigures to build some the same, similar or you could develop brand new apocalyptic designs for other themed characters to boost up your Lego Movie 2 populations in a crazy fun way. And they'd be excellent for recreating some epic battles from the movie or display scenes. So thanks for watching guys and if you'd love to know how to make these minifigures you should watch on now to check out the all important build tutorial. So let's cue the music and get this tutorial started.
And that's the end of the build, which has hopefully helped you create our apocalyptic DC minifigures, or maybe you used it as inspiration to make some that are even better. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK LEGO minifigure creation, and don't forget to check out our channel for more of our fun LEGO videos, and like, comment, and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.